Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Bowering, and today I'm discussing digestive enzymes. So a question came up in my live session about digestive enzymes for the absorption of proteins, carbs, and fats. And I was asked, would I ever use an HCL enzyme or would I recommend that? And it's not something that is my favorite type of enzyme supplement to discuss or to recommend. And the reason being is that it is hydrochloric acid and it needs to come from an animal source. And the reason why people take HCL is to help with their stomach acid and to increase the digestion of proteins. And because it has to be sourced from an animal, usually from a cow or bovine source, that, you know, I, I don't always love animal products in terms of supplementation. So I would always recommend a more naturally based, a plant-based enzyme formulation that isn't an animal source that also helps to break down protein. So some of my favorites would be from pineapples, which is the bromelain, and that's from the middle, the stem or the, the core part of the pineapple. And papaya gives us papain, and that's also a proteolytic enzyme, much like the HCL, which again is a plant-based enzyme. So those are the things kind of to look for when you're needing help with digesting your proteins. And you know, that makes you ask, well, why would we need digestive enzymes? Well, I'm gonna show you why it's important that we properly break down our food with this demonstration. So in our intestines, and this represents our intestines and the intestinal brush border, what happens is that ideally we have our nice tight junctions. So the connection between those intestinal cells called the tight junction is nice and close together. Now, what can happen over time with stress, with poor diet, with lack of enough sunlight is that we can develop something called leaky gut syndrome in which those tight junctions actually open up and they leave spaces in between. And this can become a problem. And first at the outset, we have to ensure that we're digesting our food properly so that it goes into proper absorption and digestion. And this is where digestive enzymes are really helpful. Now, when we're stressed out, we don't secrete our own digestive enzymes. What happens is that now we have a compromised digestive tract. We can start to get these issues with our tight junctions in the gut. And now these unhealthy guys that are often undigested food particles or parasites and candida and some of those less favorable microorganisms can now pass through that gut wall undigested and now we have a problem. So this can lend itself to immune problems and inflammation in the body and a lot of allergies. So this is something that we definitely want to prevent and that's why digestive enzymes can be really helpful at number one, first breaking down your food appropriately. So if you've got questions and comments, I would love to hear from you as well. Leave them in the section below. Also be sure to share this video. I hope that you learned something New. And if you've got ideas for future posts, I would love to hear from you as well. Please give me a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. And make sure that you're subscribed if you're new here. Turn on your notifications by clicking that bell. And remember to always take care of your good health and to do it naturally. Thanks for joining me today.